Did my muffler just come apart again? It did. Join us for the ride of a lifetime. Let's watch an idiot try to ride a motorcycle. Some guy rides. Okay, there is a house way out here, which makes me think that maybe, maybe there's a way through somewhere else. Because this is a long drive to get to your house. On dirt. I mean, I've been on this dirt road for quite a while. And there's got to be another way in here. That's just my guess. I'm sure I'm wrong. But, uh... Wouldn't that be nice if it went through? I see a little line, but I'm pretty sure that's like a trail. And it doesn't look like it goes all the way down to 209 anyway. But... I guess we'll see. Look where I am though, man. Come on. This is where it says the road ends. That gate. And what's this? Gate. I was almost psyched there for a second. And what's this? I'll tell you what it's not. It's not really a road. But what the hell? Cannot see anything under these leaves. And that's that. That is that, my friends. Let's, let's pause here for a moment. Let's have some water. Let's look at Gaia on my phone instead of the Zumo and see if we see anything promising. Look at this though. I am just nowhere and I love it. I can't believe those people drive all that way to that house. Is that possible? So I looked at Gaia and that gate and that gate, it's just one loop road that goes from one gate to the other gate, it goes way down. I'm sure it's super cool down there. But it doesn't go down to the, uh, it doesn't go down to a road. That's for sure. So as expected, I don't think my, uh, I think my only option is to um, go back the way we came. I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna see what this road up here on the left is. Again, I mean on the map it's just an out and back too, but I think it said private. So we will see. And uh, I got a really late start, so it's already 4.30. Um, 
Um, I wanted to head up to sort of Del Rio. Well, I guess it's west of Del Rio. There's two camping spots that look interesting uh, right on the river. They're free. I just wanted to scope them out and see if they might be a good... I cannot believe these people come out here to their house. This is the only way to go. That's... That's bold. That's commitment. I'm impressed. I am totally impressed. That looks interesting, but... But I did read a law in North Carolina that you're not allowed to ride on those power line access roads. I don't know if that's what that was. And did I go down this already? What is this? Did I? Uh-oh. Am I lost? Am I gonna get lost? I don't think this, I don't know where this goes. This, I don't think this is on my, oh Jesus. I don't think this shows up on my GPS. But anyway, I've done such, I'm doing so much goofing around that uh, it's unlikely I'm gonna be able to get up that far. Yeah, this is not on the, uh, wait, maybe it is on the map. No, it's not. It, I'm below where I was. I was right up there. That's where I flew the drone. This is not on the map. This is uncharted territory. Looks like it's headed toward that other road that I was already on. Maybe not though. I think the road that I was already on is on that, across that little valley. Unchartered territory. What's better than that? Yeah, I was up there. Since this is uncharted territory, I was up on that ridge. Um, I wasn't recording on Gaia because I was just going on roads I had sort of uh, already scoped out. But since we're going in un into uncharted territory, we, we better chart it, right? we want to in case we find some sort of paradise and we want to come back here but what I think we're gonna find instead is a gate Look how right I am. Gate, and I guess that's a walking path. That's definitely not for me today. Mm. Just go right up to it, press my card against it, gate opens, I'm on my way. It's another walking path. cool. You just never know, dudes. Maybe, what if that gate was open and it went down sort of somewhere else and went through? That would have been great. One thing with going back the same way I came from is that I feel like I have this tendency to go faster on the way back because it's like, I've already done this, I've already seen it. Let's just go. And I, 
feel like that might be an, uh, an error in judgment. And see, this kind of ride, you can't do this kind of ride with someone else. You just can't. I mean, I guess you could. But it's like, ow, that, that, that hurt. And that reminds me, I need new boots. These O'Neills have, have done me right. Okay, came from there, that's where the, the house is. These O'Neills have done me right, but it's time, they're starting to fall apart. They're two or three years old now. At least two years, right? 21, 22, 23, yeah. And um, they've served their purpose and I think it's time for some new ones. They're just like the tips are starting to unpeel and uh, the buckles, the buckles aren't doing their buckle thing quite right. And uh, I think it's time to start looking. So if anyone has some suggestions, I probably bought them three months ago, but uh, still, let me know. I think this time I probably will get something with a little more ankle support. I've never gotten into a, a situation where I needed any more ankle support, but I'm sure I will at some point. And I guess I don't mean support, I mean protection, right? But these boots, are kind of comfortable to walk in. I mean, they're still big old dumb boots, but uh, I have a feeling that they're not as bad as the other options out there. They also weren't outrageously expensive. They were kind of expensive, but comparatively speaking, they weren't so bad. I forget what the top names, top brands are. I can picture them, but I, can't, I don't know what they're called. But they were, the, the, ex, the boots can get very expensive. And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of like, when I find something I like, I will buy the same thing over and over again till the day I die. And I'm, I wonder if these boots are gonna be like that because they have, uh, they've been good. The waterproofness, if that's a word, has it's, is good. They're real comfortable. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to buy the boots that have good ankle protection after I break my ankle. I'd rather, I'd rather buy them and not have a broken ankle. I don't know. Also in buying things, I, uh, I've always had a, some sort of distaste for rechargeable air compressors, like the new newfangled kind, because I'd always just thought, well, I want something that I can power from the bike because that way, no matter what, uh, it won't run into any trouble. But mm, this is full sketch. No, this is full sketch. It's full sketch. Well, let's just go a little bit, just a little bit, just the tip. Let's let's just see. I feel like this is a walking trail, though. Ah, uh, no. Nope, 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 no, no. It's too late in the day. Maybe if I was with someone, yes. But it was too close of a call back there on that other thing. I can't deal with that. I need a little dirt bike. I wish I could have a dirt bike on the back of this bike. Throw that thing down, jam back there, come back. 
what was I talking about? Oh, the air compressor. Anyway, I, so I broke down and I bought uh, a Fantic, the small one, and it is fantastic. I'll probably do a little review of it. I really like it. I know, uh, I know these things came out a long time ago, but I'm just getting around to it. Because the thing is, yes, number one, I think it'll fill both tires from zero to full at least, I don't know, four times, maybe. And on a trip, if you need that much, something's already gone wrong. Like my tat trip. But also, you can uh, throw it in your tank bag and charge it on the bike. And you're good to go. And I also just was under the impression that these battery operated things if you let them sit, they they will just sort of go dead. But it seems like that's not exactly true. Like, I think you can leave it sitting for quite a long time and it, uh, it really kind of holds its charge. I mean, I've only had it a week, but, I'm, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that out. But, uh, you know, I think these lithium batteries, they really, really hold the charge so there you go did you ever get in, in the in that mode where you, you're just you're just itching to spend some money on something that's what that was I don't know why that happens I wish it didn't happen but sometimes it does. And uh, I, I don't, I keep wondering if I should even talk about things that are time sensitive because I'm so off on when I post. So I try to, I don't know, I should probably be vague about where, when in time I am, but, um, but all the info came out about three weeks ago about the new Royal Enfield. Um, by now, some of you probably own a Royal Enfield, a new Royal Enfield, the 452. Um, but Laura Lee checked it out. Norley, Norley, <laughs> Itchy Boots checked it out, and it it has piqued my interest. Let's put it that way. Twice the power, a little bit less weight. The one thing, the looks are okay. The looks are not as good as mine. They should have gone, they should have kept the retro thing going. The thing that I really hate is the instrument panel. I mean, I love these analog, this analog dash. It's one of the things about this bike that I like the most. I, I don't know why, but I just, I love it. Right? Look at that. It's just cool. I'm not into the digital screen thing and uh, I feel like the one on the on the new Royal Infill it just looks like a giant lollipop sticking out of the front of the bike like a big Shirley Temple lollipop and I do not like it one little bit I sure would like to ride one I asked the dude did I already say this? God, I just, I don't know what I've said and what I haven't. But I asked my Royal Enfield contact if he had any pull where I could get one for a day. Borrow one to review it. And he didn't respond. 
which I think I think we all know is a response. No respect. I bet he'd let me. I bet he'd be more uh, responsive if I had a hundred thousand subs. But alas, I do not. Wow, this is really pleasant. I'm I'm serious. I had an idea for another ride that I wanted to do with maybe Johnny Power or something, where we do like uh, some of the some of the favorite roads. But, but the, the name of the video would be No Road Left Unturned, which is kind of what I'm doing today, too. But, but on, those, on those rides, I always see just, you know, roads everywhere going, going off the main, the main route. And I want to go down every single one of those roads. And you know, all of them are gonna be out and back, so probably, but uh, that's okay. I wanna know what's down every single one of those roads. Like for instance, going up to Buzzard Roost and through, through all through there, there's all kinds of roads, whoa, that go up. There's all kinds of roads that shoot off that. Someday. Someday that's what's gonna happen. Well, this area is pretty fantastic. There's not really anywhere to go, so to speak. But uh it's just cool to wander around. And of course I've seen absolutely no one. Oh, did my muffler just come apart again? It did. Hey, please like this video if you liked this video. And if you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button and the alert bell. Also, if you're interested, there are links to gear lists and goofy t-shirts in the description. Thanks a ton for watching.